Good morning, folks. Lots to cover today, so let's get started. On the heels of yesterday's earthquake warning, Indonesia rocked with a 7 magnitude earthquake. Full list shows the range of readings there. USGS has it at only 6.8. We also took a small swarm on the Carlsberg Ridge in the Indian Ocean. And the Pacific Rise activity usually heralds more coming for South America. We had a filament destabilize right after the news posted yesterday, and it ended up setting off the departing filament to the right thereafter. Primary CME watch now comes to that thin rope coming in just to the left of the coronal hole. We are seeing a slight rise in solar flaring that might hit M range today as the sunspot number continues to skyrocket. We'll start in the lead and come clockwise around an analysis. The northern lead has what I believe we can call a delta spot right now, but it's been quiet. Behind the southern lead we have a large beta spread with little complexity. It is indeed the limb spots that crested with magnetic mixing, both on the south and on the north. Smaller umbras to be sure but far more complexity. 94 angstroms reveals that the southern incomer is doing the flaring along with the departing group already crested out of view. Solar wind speed and density in orange and yellow are on the rise. Density is especially high at the moment. We also see a twist to the phi in blue and up top the BZ is jerked positive which is good for Earth's shield but the intense solar wind stream is indeed bringing proton spikes and an expected whack to the electron counts there. So as we look at the last 24 hours on our star, I'll ask what you really know about it, and I do so because things are changing. Channel veterans know of Dr. Robitaille from The Ohio State University. He found a major flaw in Kirchhoff's law, a widely applied law of physics, and he doubled the world record for nuclear magnetic resonance imaging when everyone else said it couldn't be done. He has now begun to apply his revelation to where Kirchhoff's law has been inappropriately applied before, and one of his astounding proofs is that our star is not a gas ball, it is liquid liquid metallic hydrogen and below this video we've got another one linked for you by a german scientist who had his light bulb flash upon recognizing robotized advancement make sure you check it out we've also got a great article about how our plasma sphere interacts with the van allen belts to make an impenetrable shield against the deadliest electrons in the solar system terrific animation by the goddard scientific visualization studio also accompanies the article we also bring the latest from the European Southern Observatory, zooming in on the bright and colorful star cluster known as NGC 3532. Not just aesthetically pleasing, but a stimulating read as well. Let's also note that we now have two volcanoes with increasing activity at the Aleutian Islands of Alaska. The Mobile Observatory is in Orlando, Florida today. I know it's Thanksgiving, but if you are free in the early afternoon, come over to Eddie V's. Details on our event and all future events can be found at observatoryproject.com. That system in the Indian Ocean indeed now has a cyclone warning. By the way, this is an earth spot connection to the Carlsberg Ridge quakes. We've got a low at New England driving frigid air down the western side of the system and it is aided by a north central high pressure system. That high segregates the eastern alerts from those driven by the western moisture flow. Don't be caught off guard here. In Europe, we note the low at the southwest coastlines and the remaining moisture flows up into France and Germany and also up atop Italy. Southern purple are the top alerts today. Wind flows are less evident down under, but the precipitable water overlay dictates where it's going to fall tonight. Worst watches are in the far northwest. Got some shots of our star to close. It's 6.05 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.